What is going on, Swamp Squad? That's right, it's Swamp Life Reptiles, and we are back with another video. Today's video is going to be fun and exciting. It's about a new species, and that is the North American Spotted Turtle. So I've been keeping North American Spotted Turtles for about two years now, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about how I keep my North American Spotted Turtle. So, the North American spotted turtles, or Clemmys guttata, as it's known scientifically, is one of my favorite turtle species. It's probably my second favorite turtle species to keep behind the diamondback terrapin. Now, I'm very thankful that here in Florida, there's no official laws on me keeping the North American spotted turtle, but you have to be careful. Most of the states where the North American spotted turtle is native, there are states, they are a heavily protected species of turtle. Probably because of their natural beauty causes them to get poached. Now, today I'm gonna tell you all about how I keep my North American spotted turtles. I have yearlings and I have a recently acquired hatchling. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started off with how I keep my yearlings. Here you will see a 50 gallon low boy Zoomed tank. This tank is made by Zoomed. It is 48 inches long, 24 inches wide, and I believe 10 inches high. Now, I currently keep my North American spotted turtles in here. They are yearlings. I acquired them last year. As you can see, swimming around and enjoying their environment. I have four of them here. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I've said that I believe I have a 1.3 group. That's one male and three females. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the North American spotted turtle is not a great swimmer. That means the North American spotted turtles actually require their environment to be a little bit more shallow. Okay, so in my tanks, I keep the water under six inches. Okay, now you can have it deeper, but you want to have plenty of plants and driftwood and things that they can hold on to. Uh, they are not, again, they are not great swimmers. My yearlings here actually had a night where I had to tempor temporarily put them in a stock tank. It was actually a 40 gallon um, stock tank made by Tough Stuff. And it came, well it turned out, not came, it turned out that that was not a great temporary enclosure. I happened to stop in the garage and look at them and they were laying on their backs about to drown. So I had to perform turtle CPR on them uh, and they have been great ever since. But it was at that moment that I realized, even despite all the people that have told me, they really aren't great swimmers. They're not a species of turtle that you're gonna watch uh, swim around majestically. Instead, this species of turtle, you're gonna find foraging on the bottom of the tank, holding on to branches, basking, um, they prefer the shallow water. They love to forage. Uh, in the wild, these animals are found in uh, essentially bogs. They're found in shallow water puddles. And so there's no need for them to have a highly aquatic, deep setup. So this is what a yearling North American spotted turtles, Clemens guttata, looks like. As you can see, it has a black carapace with yellow spots on it. Pretty beautiful. On the bottom, you'll see a peach uh, to orangish color plastron with black markings on it. Now, from what I've heard, and I'm by no fault, I'm by no means an expert on the North American spotted turtles, but you can tell the gender of your North American spotted turtle either from the coloration on the plastron, it'll be almost completely black, the color of their chin, which this one doesn't want to put it out, but it'll also be black. And then, of course, like most turtles, the tail will be much fatter. And that's why I believe that I have a 1.3 group. I have one that uh, pretty much meets all of those criteria. Now, 
When you keep North American spotted turtles, you want to keep the tank heavily planted. They love aquatic plants. In this setup of theirs, I have Hornworth and I've had Anacharis. I find them munching on it uh, as well as resting on it, hiding in it. It is a great setup for them. Here you'll see a North American spotted turtle hiding naturally under this piece of driftwood. Now, I use driftwood for all of my turtle enclosures, primarily because I prefer to keep it naturalistic. To me, a foam, uh, you know, basking dock is not natural to me, and I like to have it be as natural as possible while in captivity. On the bottom, you'll see a substrate that is sand and gravel. I prefer to keep sand and gravel because it allows the turtles to forage naturally. In the wild, they're not gonna be in an enclosure with a glass bottom. They're not gonna be in an enclosure or they're not gonna be in an environment rather, not an enclosure with a slate bottom. These rocks and gravel allow them to dig and forage naturally. I'll often find them digging for food and different things. And it's an awesome sight to see. A lot of people will worry about compaction when it comes to turtles. But the question I pose is, well, what do turtles in the wild do? Okay, you're not gonna be able to save every single turtle from compaction but I keep sand in almost all of my enclosures and I've never had a compaction problem, knock on wood. These plants right here are hornworth. They're an amazing plant to keep with your spotted turtles. I also have some anacharis that's been eaten on. It's time to get some more. I keep it, the lighting with a 48 inch, uh, I believe it's a 10.0. Uh, it might be the 5.0, actually. It's a 5.0, 48-inch uh, T8 light fixture. Now, these turtles actually prefer it rather cooler, so they don't do great in extreme heat, which is why I keep them indoors. I do not provide a basking light because in my garage, it is already warm for most of the year. So this UVB bulb is the only lighting that I give them, typically. They have been doing great. Their shell growth is great. Their coloration is great. What are you doing, big guy? Sniffing some butt? Yeah, how does that smell? Anyways, now I wanna go ahead and talk about the uh, how to set up a hatchling North American spotted turtle. So my recently acquired Oh, it's getting a little dark in here. North American Spotted Turtle Hatchling is actually kept in my daughter's room, as you can see. Uh, and this is her pet turtle um, that she named Biscuit. Some of you guys that follow me may have heard about Biscuit, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm keeping Biscuit. And this is pretty much on par with how I kept those yearlings when they were this size. All right. This enclosure is a two and a half gallon aquarium. Uh, I wanted a five gallon aquarium, but when I went to the store, they were all sold out and I wanted something um, to put her in that my daughter could see. Now, I've also used plastic storage containers, uh, the small quart size ones, I believe. Uh, there might be a couple quarts, actually. Uh, I've used those as well. Uh, pretty much all you need is something you can keep shallow. This is probably an inch or two max of water. Let's see. Uh, looks like about an inch and a half uh, off rough estimation. Here you can see that it is heavily planted. I have duckweed covering the top. Duckweed makes an awesome choice for hatchling spotted turtles because as you can see, there's no filtration in the water. I change the water about every two weeks. Now, the reason I wait two weeks is because the number of plants that are in here help keep the water clean. So, like I said, I have duckweed pretty much covering the top. And then inside, when you get close, you can see another plant. That's anacharis. They absolutely love anacharis. Okay? You can't even see this turtle. This turtle feels safe and protected, but eats like a champ. I feed this uh, baby turtle uh, a cube of frozen blood worms uh, pretty much every single day. I'm doing that now because I want it to get to a comfortable size, and then I'm going to slowly transition it to pellets. But for right now, in this environment, I just drop the cube in, and I guarantee you, by the time I come home, they are gone. And by they, I mean the blood worms. 
Okay, every so often I'll see Biscuit sticking uh, her or his head out of the uh, water through the duckweed, and it's awesome. The turtle feels protected, it's covered, they're able to hide, and it's a pretty nice uh, setup for my daughter. Now, my daughter is bummed sometimes that she can't always just look in there and see her, but at the end of the day, we have to do what's best for our turtles sometimes. For my lighting, I have a UVB uh, light strip. This is a 24 inch Zoomid light fixture. Uh, this is for sure the 5.0 bulb, nothing too extreme. Uh, there's no heat bulb, because again, they prefer it rather cool. And so this is how I set up my hatchlings. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is the size comparison between a hatchling and a yearling North American spotted turtle. So this right here, this little thing, this is Biscuit, my daughter's North American spotted turtle hatchling. Uh, the turtle was hatched uh, during the first week of July. Rather small. Then from the same breeder, a year ago, I got this North American spotted turtle. This is a yearling. This is a hatchling. You can see the size difference. I'll take a picture and add it to the end of the video so you can see them side by side just for a comparison. But here's the thing, as these little guys, they don't require a whole lot. Just do a shallow water planted setup, okay? Currently, I don't have anything for it to climb out on and that's okay for now, okay? It's fine. They are getting the UVB, trust me. Okay, they will do just fine. As hatchlings, they wanna hide anyway. They don't want to see you every single day. Now, my yearlings, on the other hand, they are greedy. And while they hide when I hold them, when I put them back in the water, they are ready to eat. One of the main things that I've learned about North American spotted turtles is again, keep the water shallow, keep it simple. And for a long time, they may not need a filter. Before I transitioned to their current setup with this canister filter, they had a sponge filter. And before that, they had a small whisper filter. And that was only because I was lazy. They really didn't need it. If you keep up with water changes and use live plants, it'll go a long way. All right, guys, I showed you all about how I keep my North American spotted turtles. I gave you some great tips so that you can keep yours safe and happy and healthy. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This has been Swamp Live Reptiles. I'll see you later, Swamp Squad. Peace out.